This teaching strategy is called Jigsaw. Um, a little like Carousel, but not as active. So once again, for group 16 learners, um, probably do with 9, etc. You'll see why certain numbers work better for this uh, than others. So you get your class into four groups. There we go. So you're having A group, B group, C group, and D group. Um, I'll just show you a little strategy I do sometimes actually. I sometimes to mix up the class, I um, do a little thing whereby I, I will stick a playing card underneath their chair. So before they come into class, I stick a playing card underneath the chair. And then I say, right, get into groups. And they all look to their friends. I say, no, you've already decided your group. And they look at me silly. And then I just go, well, if you look under your seat, there's a playing card. And then they reach on the seat, pull out the playing card and go, okay, all the diamonds over here, hearts over here, etc. Now, the interesting thing about that is students tend to sit in the exact same seat week in, week out. So the groups are not as random as the students might think they are. Okay, but for the sake of this, you don't need to do that. That's just a little extra fun. Uh, thank you for watching the video. So, you know, that's how I split groups up sometimes. But basically, we have four groups in A, B, C, and D. And then you split them up. So everyone's with a different person now. So you can see now that first group, we've got an A, B, C, and D. The second group, we've got B, C, D, and A, so on and so forth. And I've used this with something called PEST in um, marketing. So therefore, each group looks at one element of PEST, well, be it the political, economic, social, and technological side of PEST. Then as you can see there, that group all become political experts. The second group all become economic, third social, fourth one technological experts. You can see now there, hopefully you can see in yellow is their knowledge base, in green is their original group. So they can all go back now to their group and add something to it. So now all the A knows all the different elements of PES so they can put it all together, hence Jigsaw. Okay, and um, B's know all elements of PES, C and D, etc. Okay, so what you might have is you might have A's that are working on a certain company and B are a different company, and then when they meet together to discuss PES, they brain they mind map all the different elements of political issues, and then when they get back together, they can look at how that might affect their company, etc. So this is Jigsaw, it's where you break them up into different knowledge groups and then reform them back into their original group. Jigsaw.